a guy that talks to other girls and now he wants to make he wants to make out no you're gonna fall for that are you gonna fall for that why do you want to play with a player why do you want a selfish short-term thinker why do you want a guy who's unfocused why do you want a guy who's just looking for ego strokes why do you want a guy who just wants to make out with everybody and has just you know no desire to you know be plugged into any particular person it's all about the physicality and what he's going to get and when he's going to get it and who's going to give it to him you're going to be one of the girls one of the girls are you going to be one of the girls are you going to be you know just one of the girls one of the here today gone tomorrows because you won't last you won't last he's all about the variety he's not about the commitment Hello, I love your shirt. Thank you. I thought those books behind me, these books, those books, those ones, I will not be one of the girls. Thank you, my love. You, you don't, this is the whole beauty about using that no kissing for three months dating rule is you notice you notice who the guys are you notice who the players are and you go "Ooh, now that i've actually like looked at you not so interested i want seriously like like me i don't want to get with the guy who's looking for somebody i want to get with the man who's looking for me if he's just running around looking for somebody he's always looking for somebody somebody that's what he wants he wants somebody He's not looking for the one. There's no discernment. He's looking for somebody. And that's what guys are doing. I did it too, right? When you can be in girl mode. You can be in girl mode. You can be in guy mode. Selfish short-term thinking mode. I just want to have fun. I'm just looking for somebody, right? Do I find you attractive? Do I trust you? Good enough. That's it. Um, but that's not the one you want when you want a relationship. You know what? The one who's looking for somebody. You want the one who's looking for you. I'm in a relationship with a great man, but his mom is super dependent on him. Do you have a book for that? Here's the thing. Are you okay with that happening forever? Don't tell yourself uh, this is going to change because you want it to change. This is what he's doing. So are you ready to accept that? Are you looking to accept it? Or are you looking to change it? My friend wants to know if being involved with a very jealous person is bad for her. 100 million percent, yes. Jealous people use, use their emotions of insecurity and jealousy to control you. You don't want that. He's going to say, you can't talk to that person. You can't go there. You can't wear that. Um, it's never good to get with somebody who is insecure and jealous. Never, never good. You're just going to fight, fight, fight until you're tired of fighting and then you exit the relationship and you start all over again so do you want to go through all the trauma of trying to stand up for yourself or would you rather just say mm, i don't think so i don't think so i don't think i want to go through that is looking to compromise okay depends on the circumstance depends depends what the compromise is That guy. Hello. Hello, lovely. Hello, welcome, loves. What are we talking about? What are your questions? 
What's a hi? Hello, lovelies, Amanda. Come on, hello. Hello, my love. Say hi if you're staying. Giuseppe, follow the hose. Hello, Tori Lynn. Hello, lovely. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Hi from Canada. Hello, Charlie. Charlie Angel, that's awesome. Mark Jones, follow the host. Hello. Oh, Timmy, follow the host. What a calming voice. Thank you. Howdy. I do, Mark. Mark, okay, so if you guys want a notification when I go live, click my picture here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that, say I just did. Take a minute at some point, go into your settings on TikTok and turn on your notifications in your settings. Take a minute, go into your notifications in your phone, turn on the notifications from TikTok. Hello from England, hello. Any book recommendations for talking to somebody new and amazing after terrible five-year narcissistic bond? Yes, uh, no more assholes. Don't just fall into your next relationship. Use that no kissing for three months dating rule. There are 15 questions in here to help you peel back the layers. Also, if, you, if you're prone to getting into those terrible relationships, you very much need to use this book. You very much need to read the chapter on the 12 character traits you need to look for in a partner and make sure he has those traits before you commit to a relationship. Don't make another mistakes. What should I do if my boyfriend wastes his money on stupid things while we're trying to get a new place? He's not trying to get a new place. You're trying to be responsible. You're trying to get a new place. He's not trying to get a new place. So here's you going this way and him going this way. One of the traits of a selfish short-term thinker is financial irresponsibility. It sounds like you're with a selfish short-term thinker. That's not somebody you can build a life with, which is evident. You're trying to save money to get a place. He doesn't give a fuck about that because he's a selfish short-term thinker. You need to say to him, I'm not telling you what to do. You're free to do what you want, but I need to be in a relationship with somebody that I can build a life with. And that means both of us set financial goals and work to achieve those financial goals. So far, I can't do that with you because you don't set financial goals and then work to achieve those financial goals. You say we are setting the same financial goal and then you go do whatever you want. So that tells me I can't build a life with you because we're not saving together. We're not working together. I'm the only one working at this. So I, I don't think this relationship is for me because I need to be with somebody that I can build a life with. And if you can't set financial goals with me and then work to achieve them, I can't build a life with you. Do you have a degree in psychology? I'm working on mine, so just curious. Uh, I don't. Um, I was going to university to go get that piece of paper, and then I realized I wanted to work for myself, not for an organization. So I dropped out of university and self-educated. I did get in word and life coaching, um, but no, I don't have a degree in psychology. Uh, how do you deal with it? I'm really happy with my partner, but my mother-in-law is just so ever bearing, overbearing. But what does that mean though? What does that mean to your, your long term? Like at what point is her overbearingness going to make you feel negative about your relationship because he doesn't set boundaries? And it's, it's not her, by the way, it's him. Make no mistake, it's your partner that is not protecting your relationship from his side. We are the ambassadors to our side. If somebody on your side was encroaching on your relationship and being overbearing, it's your responsibility to say, hey, you need to step back. There needs to be a boundary. You can't be interfering in my relationship like this. So he's not doing that, which means he's missing one of the three components of a man. Protect, profess, provide. What he's not doing is protecting your relationship. You're very happy with him, that's great. 
but do you want this for the rest of your life? Because the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. If he's not gonna set a boundary today, if he hasn't set a boundary yesterday, he's not gonna set a boundary tomorrow. So every single day he doesn't set a boundary, all, all like look at your history. This is what you can anticipate for him not setting a boundary because that's what he's done. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So he's not setting boundaries. So this is your life. Do you, are you gonna accept this? You can't change it. Are you going to accept it? If you're willing to accept it, get fixed that shit. Do what's in that book to deal with your emotions. Setting boundaries is not something that, you know, it, it, it doesn't need to take time. It takes a decision. He's not making the decision and the following through. It's, but I don't know what your situation is though. Just keep in mind, guys, this is not professional advice because I don't have enough information to give you professional advice on a live. If you literally want professional advice, um, you know, perspective and a plan, you do need to get a coaching session because I need information in order to give you professional advice. And this one-sided conversation, you know, uh, 100 characters at a time does not achieve that. So just so you know, just so you know. Thank you for the rose, roses. How do I get past getting discarded from a narcissist who had multiple affairs in a four month marriage? Come get coaching, my love. Uh, the fact that it even bothers you to not be in this relationship anymore is the biggest red flag I see, right? How do I get past being discarded by the narcissist who had multiple affairs in four months of marriage. How, how do I get past not being in that relationship anymore? How are you not ecstatic over not being in that relationship anymore? How are you using the word discarded when you're, when you're talking about somebody you describe as a narcissist and a multiple cheater? Um, that's, that's what needs to be fixed is this mindset that this is sad in any way, shape or form. Your voice is making my brain, brain rest, which is amazing. What if he lives with her? Is 25 years old. Uh, don't date somebody who's still a child, right? I want an adult relationship. I want to be with somebody who is adulting, somebody who's self-sufficient. No wonder he's not setting boundaries because mom is doing his laundry and cooking his meals. So why would he tell her to get out of his life in any way, shape, or form? Bills are paid, meals are made, and laundry's done. House is kept. All right, so he's gonna come live with you and you're gonna be his mommy after that? Please tell me she's not doing that. Like I'm I'm just supposing this because obviously this is not a, like an actual consultation, um, but I, it really makes me wonder why he's letting her interfere. My ex circled back yesterday. If that's a bad thing, why isn't he blocked? Should you only date people that have the same political opinions as you? Well, if that was the case, I wouldn't be with my husband. I would not be with my husband. We are on opposite ends of the political spectrum. My week is going really well. How do you know if someone is serious about you? Four years, nothing's happening. Um, Nothing's happening. You haven't had a conversation where you said, I've been thinking about my life and I really want to get married at this time, engage at this time, live together, like, you know, whatever. What's your life plan? Go to him and say, this is what I want. If he says, that's not my plan or I don't know if I want to do that, move on. It's been four years. It's time to know if you're on the same page or not. Do you think long distance relationships work well? Some do. Uh, I don't miss her, I just can't trust myself anymore. Um, if you're, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so 
are you is this a gay relationship sorry i need to look at this oh sorry okay um i got so if you don't trust yourself i've got so for those of you who are dating and you've left like bad relationships i have books for you if you're a woman getting out into the dating world no more assholes is going to help you make sure you choose a good man a generous long-term thinker if you're a man coming out into the dating world after like shitty experiences the perfect play is the book that's going to help you settle into a relationship with a generous long-term thinker not just you know like it, it takes away the fear because knowledge is empowering and i really i really empower you with knowledge on how to seek out and recognize the right one hi <laughs> so cute can we stop the relationship talk for a second and talk about how you don't age you're so pretty i support lgbtq all the way all the way thank you my loves i tried the only thing he said was a house by 30 and got annoyed about me asking so listen if he's gonna shut down the conversation um I don't know get a coaching session so I can dive more into this if you want help with that bills are paid by her for now he just graduated but he does almost all the cooking and cleaning and laundry okay well at least he's being a, a at least he's being a big boy and looking after himself but he's still not protecting the relationship against his mom and her intrusions and I would I wouldn't like make it clear make it clear like I don't want to be in a relationship that's a threesome how did you deal with the fact that you and your husband have different political opinions well once we realized it we and, and it was starting like it was heated right because we all know um, once we realized that we had we were at an impasse I'm not changing my mind he's not changing his mind we let the conversation go we literally stopped talking about it all together we do not talk politics he has a right to be an individual have his own opinions have his own thoughts i have a right to be an individual have my own opinion have my own thoughts so we just respect each other's differences when it comes to that is it worth waiting for a great man until we can afford to live together for a great man hell yeah yes 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 that's called planning that's called planning but set the boundary right this mother-in-law thing like do not seriously like today the, the conversation needs to be had today he needs to start getting on this boundary thing it needs to happen he's 25 years old Is it justified to be bothered by my partner being on his phone when we're together? So it's, it's kind of like, you know, like, listen, before we had cell phones, we were watching TV at night, right? So, you know, it's like somebody saying, hey, like at the end of the day, we just watch TV. Well, that's what everybody does, right? Everybody's watching a screen. So what are you not doing? How are you not engaging him? Um, when people are on their phones, you can still have a conversation, right? So do you actually have something to talk about? Are you wishing he would start conversations? Are there conversations you want to be having? Um, you know, just don't play a game where you're like, I'm going to be quiet and see if he talks to me first, because then you just make yourself mad and you create all this negative energy. And we don't need to open our mouths to communicate with each other, right? Like, who here has thought about a friend and then a minute later you get a text message from them we we don't need to be in the same room we don't need to open our mouths to communicate if you put yourself in a poopy mood because you're creating these little tests how long is it going to take him to take the initiative to talk to me to get off his phone you're going to put yourself in a mood you're going to create a negative vibration he's going to pick up on that just like you think about your friend and then a minute later you get that text message and he's going to be like hmm I'm really not going to like bother her tonight. She seems off. I'm not going to say anything. And then you have even more silence. So what I suggest you do is you get fix that shit. You learn how to create emotional security in the relationship. Really make the relationship start to feel easy. Get two kisses in a day. Two kisses minimum five seconds each. And, and just start creating like an easy relationship. And talk about whatever you want to talk about. 
My partner is 16 years older than me. I'm more financially secure than him. Should I be concerned? Yes. Yes. Uh, like, generous long-term thinkers are financially responsible. Is he like this because he's been financially irresponsible? Major red flag. I've been in a 10-year relationship and I'm two and a half years out. I'm scared to date, haven't talked to anyone. I got a book for you right here. It's called No More Assholes. Um, so money over happiness. Meow responsibility helps happiness isn't that awesome it's so simple like it's so simple right it's so simple it's super simple so yeah responsibility helps happiness so definitely definitely be with someone responsible did that freak you out do you need to become more financially responsible? Uh, yeah, so with the dating, uh, grab no more assholes and read this, um, right? You're scared to date, haven't talked to anyone. Knowledge is power. So it's going to help you feel more secure and confident because you're not going out into the dating world blindly. Did I have that? Oh, no more assholes in audio. I'm making it now. Uh, do you have a book about dating a narcissist or should don't date don't date narcissists? Like it's like there's no navigating dating a narcissist. If you think someone's a narcissist, you shut it down. Guys, if you want an audiobook though, fix that shit is an audiobook and it is available in the link to my bio. Not on Audible. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? You're welcome. You're welcome. If you want a notification when I go live, say, I do. If you want me to do a book walkthrough, I wrote nine books. If you want me to do a book walkthrough and give a brief description about each of my books, say, book walkthrough. I do. I am happy. I'm very happy. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I have to keep reminding myself like I have, like I literally have everything. Um, yeah, life is, is so good. Book walk through. Are you not happy? Why not? Uh, is the dating expert single? No, my friend, the dating expert is not. I like that you question that though. That's a sign of intelligence. It's a sign of critical thinking. Good for you. I, I do not, I do not support single dating coaches. I think that's silly. Uh, it's, it's like me. It's like, I've never, I've never, never used a sewing machine, but I'm going to teach you how to make a dress. It doesn't make sense to me. Book walk through. That's amazing. Congrats on nine books. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think teenagers should date? Yes, but I think that you should stick to your comfort zones and never, ever let anyone push you beyond your comfort zones. Book walk through time. Do you think people that used to cheat in previous relationships can be faithful in the future? It all depends on why they cheated. If they cheated because they were selfish, best predict their future behavior is past behavior. If they cheated because things were desperately horrible in their relationship, um, that's circumstantial. Like, not circumstantial, that's, cir that's situational. That's more situational than a character flaw. Okay, guys, book walk through. Come back, queen. This is a book that uh, will help you get over a breakup. If you are pining, hurting, yearning for the last person you were with, um, if that was a year ago or yesterday, if it's hurting, come back. Queen is going to help you through that pain. Uh, no more assholes is going to help you choose your next relationship. Make sure the next one is the right one. This is the book that's going to help you find a generous long-term thinker. There's the 12 character traits you need to look for. You're going to find out how to use that no kissing for three months dating rule. 
Um, you're gonna find somebody super amazing because you're gonna let the wrong ones walk away before they kiss you, which is the whole point. Um, oh, I got those glasses. Okay, listen, these are blue blocking glasses. I've got like four different styles. They're actually pretty inexpensive, but I like them. You can get them. I put the link to this in the link to my bio if you, if you like it. Uh, men, your version of No More Assholes, by the way, is the perfect play. This is the book that's going to help you get in a relationship with a woman, a generous long-term thinker, no more users, no more takers, no more girls. Ooh. Uh, ladies, after the first kiss, it's going to help you settle into your new relationship. This is going to help you transition from courtship phase to reality phase without going into an insecurity phase because you weren't ready for the shifts that were going to take place when your relationship goes from an inefficient stage to an efficient stage. So I talk about baby mamas, I talk about kids, I talk about um, you know their parents, family, work, friends, dog, hobbies. How are you gonna get used to things going back to normal for each of you? Uh, then you go to Fix That Shit. This is the book that helps you get to zero fighting in your relationship by helping you understand and deal with your emotions, understand your partner better, get some really great communication skills so that you can have those tough conversations without there being a fight. Custom Make goes really well with Fix That Shit. This is like steak and fine wine, my loves. So this one, if you're being codependent, this one teaches you how to manage yourself and be a functional partner in a relationship and then shift your focus from making your partner your purpose to your purpose your purpose so this book answers two questions what is my purpose and how do i monetize it so this is going to help you become purposeful in your life instead of being upset because your partner doesn't want to be your your everything which is unhealthy if you're getting pissed off because they don't spend every spare minute of their time with you that's not healthy. We need to be individuals practicing our purposes, coming back to the relationship, sharing our success. Um, dating 101, understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. There's no swearing in this book, moms and dads, so you can get this for your teenagers. Think love need not apply. Uh, how to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. This is a free ebook if you hit the free book button in the link in my bio. Say yes to goodness, uh, 10 steps to complete and happy you. This is you being happy both inside and outside of your relationship. How many times have I been hurt? Oh, by the way, you guys can get my books on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. If you want an audio book, I know Fix That Shit For Men is coming next. If you want an audio book, um, Fix That Shit is now available, but you can only get it through the link tree in my bio. How many times have I been hurt? More times than I can count, and I literally have not kept count, so I don't know. I was in an abusive relationship for six years, have been single for almost four years, very happy. Good, good, good. Good, Melissa, Melissa with love, excited for what's next. Uh, guys, uh, speaking of what's next, um, I'm writing Fix That Shit for Men right now. I'm writing, I'm writing Fix That Shit for Men. Uh, so, oh, I'm doing a 12 week program, you guys. Is there anybody who feels like they need, they need to get, they need to get more in shape. They need to eat better. Um, they want to get like aligned in their life. They want to get, you know, down into the meditation. Um, really just sort of like get on track. Cause I'm doing a 12 week program in August. And it's all about just like resetting yourself. So basically, I'm bringing in a fitness and nutrition expert. She's going to work with us for 12 weeks. We're going to do five lives a week. Um, and you can watch the replays if you don't see the lives. But, but you, know, you know, you can come and take part in the lives. They're interactive. I'm not. I'm married. Um, two workouts a week. One cooking show a week. Um, I'm doing a fireside chat with you, so bringing a special guest or bringing a special topic and doing a QA. and a um, and then also a soul session every week, so that's going to be guided meditations, manifestations, intention setting. Um, if you guys want to take part in this, it's going to, it's going to be in August, it's going to start in August when my new internet connection comes in. 
I have a waiting list for an early bird sign up where you're going to get 20, uh, 50% off for 24 hours on July 19th. So if you guys are thinking about signing up, add your name to that early bird list so that you can take advantage of that 24 hour window and get half off the price. If you want to do that, uh, go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a button there that says uh, 12 week alignment. Click on that, it takes you to a page, add your email in there. A guy I was with ended things because of bad timing is now engaged and I'm crushed. Any advice? If you're hurting over that, I would suggest you get into Comeback Queen um, to get over the heartache. No more assholes to start looking forward instead of like looking back at him and, and oh shit, I forgot avocados. <gasps> My husband, fuck. Um, Sorry, I make him a snack every night and I realize I don't have any avocados for the salsa guacamole. Um, yeah, no more assholes is going to help you move forward by planning your next relationship. If I had to choose one major piece of relationship advice, what would it be? It would be to meditate. Meditation changes your brain structure. Um, which changes your entire life because it changes your perception. It changes everything. Guys, if you hit on me, I will block you. I will block you because that's not what I'm here for. Um, so be fair warned. You can never be hot enough to distract me from my man. Where is the list? What list? What did I say? I forget now. Oh, the sign up list for the program. Thank you. Uh, go to my bio, click on the link tree, and you're going to see there's a button there that says 12 week alignment. Click on that. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, click on that. It's going to take you to a page. There's a space there for you to enter your email. I'm in Canada. Signed up, Melissa. Love, love, love. Hmm. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So I hit 10,000 on Instagram. We are doing a upgraded giveaway this month. You're going to get a free coaching session and a signed book by me. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram if you guys want to take part in the giveaway.